Well guys, in this video, I think I'm gonna show you what my plans are for the trailer and uh, what I've done in the past few days. I've taken the fenders and the fender backs, those of you who are following me over on my Facebook page, uh, I posted some pictures of, I tacked on the back parts onto the fenders, onto the fenders here. Then spray painted it. That yeah, took a lot longer than what I expected. Almost three or four cans of paint. And it's only got one, uh, see a few spots I missed there. And it's only got one coat on it. So now let me show you what my plans are for the trailer. Okay, on most 16 foot trailers, you have a, ten, um, a dual axle setup. You have a point of contact, you have a point of contact, you have your leaf spring, you have another leaf spring, you have your axle, axle, you have another point of contact, another point of contact, some linkages, and then a third contact in the middle. And then you got your tires. This type of setup helps disperse the weight out through the frame. What, and on a lot of the uh, plans that you'll come across, geez, that guy's flying pretty low. A lot of the plans that you'll come across, they build uh, the frame out of three x three or four x four angle iron. That's okay because you have these two point of contact tacks that are dispersed wider throughout the trailer. I won't be having that. My trailer is going to be 16 feet long. And I'm going to have a single axle. I have two point for my leaf springs, two points of contact. So building the frame out of angle iron is probably not a very good idea. Uh, well, of course, the 16 footers, they also have extra uh, steel that runs on the inside or outside, you know, for, for weight. Because most of the time, 16 foot trailers uh, haul cars and that sort of stuff. But I'm not going to be doing that. Mine's going to be for a lighter duty stuff where I'll be able to put um, two, three, four, maybe go-karts on it, whatever. Small ones, two big ones, one big one, whatever. So, building my primary frame out of angle iron is not going to be a very good idea. So, what I plan on doing is using, and if this is going to be where the axle goes, just estimating, I'm going to be building this section of the frame out of 2 by 2 0.095 square tubing. Instead of angle iron, it's going to be square tubing. It's going to have its notches, you know what I'm saying. Or not notches, but it's going to be cut at an angle to create a 90 degree angle. Technically, these points are going to be about maybe 16 feet 4 inches long because I'm going to need to put a gate back here. But I definitely want my bed to be six feet by 16. What that's also going to do is that since my side rails, looking at it from the back, are going to be two inches, I'm going to be putting two by two angle iron going crossways right here, down here. So my angle iron is going to be going crossways, welded underneath. I'll have to figure out, compensate for where my connections are going to be for my leaf springs. Figure that out. But when I go to put wood down in here, if I use 2 by whatever, you know, like a 2 by 4 is not actually technically 2 inches by 4 inches. It's more like an inch and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters or whatever. So I'm going to have a little lip right here, which is okay. It's no big deal. Now the side profile of the trailer is uh, I'm thinking about doing something like this. I have a slight angle right here to compensate for the tires. Trailer is going to come back. Going to have the gate tire. Wherever I put my tires and the contact points for my leaf spring, I'll be putting in some angle iron that'll be longer. I'll be cutting all my angle iron pieces 
a little long. And then I'll take another piece of angle iron and just drape it across the top like that. Flatten it out and I'll have to notch the angle iron so it'll be, you know, with my cutting saw so the angle iron will have like angle iron will look something like this see what I'm saying so that way I'll be able to bend it and then have it come down here so looking at it from the side profile that's something what I'm thinking about doing it'll create strength for the point for the whole trailer so I'll be building the angle iron will all be eighth inch angle iron so I'll have angle iron here and angle iron down here or wherever you know what I'm saying every two feet whatever the tongue or not tongue but the uh, the bar that's going to go underneath there, I'm going to have to notch out the angle iron so it'll fit in there. Then my coupler. Right there. The distance from here to here is going to be, not the coupler, excluding the coupler, will be, God, what did I say? I can't remember if it was three and a half feet or four. I can't remember. But it'll be a pretty decent size. This this entire part right here will be about seven and a half feet. Welded underneath in various places. I'll have angles coming down, connecting out here. So I'll have the neck frame of the trailer. And then it'll come out like this. Then my coupler will be most likely bolted onto the edge like that. So this is my idea for the side profile of what the trailer will look like. Uh, I was hoping, I think, I think it'd be kind of cool because uh, once I get the fenders on and get the tires on and stuff, I'll have a lot of uh, spacing in here, some prime real estate to put your guys' stickers on it. I'll be painting the whole trailer black but I want to fill this in with some white um, white steel, kind of like what Steiny did when he sent me my pit, my uh, sign. I think that'd be awesome if I were to have that type of uh, steel. Or actually, that's aluminum. That's aluminum plating that he sent. But I'll probably I'll probably go down and get some steel if I can. That's white, or I'll have to paint it, or whatever. But I want to be able to take all your guys' stickers. That you guys have sent me because I got a bunch of them that I haven't hung up on the back wall and I think it'd be kind of cool if I took your guys' stickers and put them on the trailer in various places the back here I want to put like uh, T-Man's go-karts you know up in here somewhere the back I want to on the uh, gate I want to put like uh, you know T-Man's go-karts you know, on YouTube. I want to be able to do that. Something like that, maybe. You know, and put some... So that way it's like the whole trailer becomes a, one big, massive, bright, uh, you know, advertising sign. You know, it's got my stickers on it's got you guys stickers on it you know it'll have t-man's go-karts on youtube on the back 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 here somehow i don't know if that's the format i want to use but you know you know what i'm talking about so that way people from behind me will be able to see people off to the side will say well you know what the hell and then i'll like yeah put some banners you know flying off of the side like this you know yeah and it'll say like t-man's go-karts going up the side and then over here it'll have like blinking police lights and stuff and then we'll have like a 
on the side here we'll have a fold down catapult that shoots like flyers at people no in the back of us so that way yeah people get bombarded by flyers when they're following me yeah well yeah you guys that's roughly the idea uh, but I'm gonna have to wait till Monday uh, to order for the steel right now I'm about well I'm about 80 bucks short on the getting the steel because I can't go out and buy just a little bit now and then start working on it no I can't do that I have to buy it all right away because once I start this project I'm gonna go all th all the way through it and uh, yeah I'm gonna try to get well we'll see how long it takes me I'm gonna get everything try I'm gonna get everything pre-cut figure everything out and then just go to town set up the jig out here and then just freak out on my welding and stuff so that's what I have planned uh, but like I said, I'm about 80 bucks short, so what I'm going to do is I bought some stuff at Harbor Freight last week, and I'm going to take some of that stuff back because I still haven't even opened it, and it's still sitting here. So I'm going to take that back and get my money back for it, and then I should have enough money left over to go down Monday and get, uh, get order for the steel. So I'm pretty happy about that. So hopefully come Monday or Tuesday, I'll be throwing out another video on the build of this and hopefully we're gonna actually get down to the nitty gritty and doing it. So, until the next video guys, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and my new viewers, and thank you to those who share and post comments on my videos, it helps out. And hopefully you guys have gone over and checked out that website, trailerplans.com, checked out all the awesome deals that he's got. And remember, this is the end of the year and tax season is coming up. So this is your project that you're going to want to build and use for next summer. Yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. To Nikki Tesla who got that cold shoulder To people on the street who play dead and roll over I can feel your struggle each day I grow older Feel drunk off the pain and just wanna go sober Closer to this world is now becoming evident Half of its residents think that they have a sin 